guys, it's Jess from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book haul for you. I know I recently did a book haul right after Polycon, which was like only like two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago now, and uh, I have a lot of books. So I did not buy a lot of these. I got a lot from publishers, and some friends sent me some books that they didn't want anymore. I have two of those, well, like two friends who sent me a bunch of books, and I bought books from eBay. So I, if you saw the thumbnail of this, I went to the Black Dagger Brotherhood event on Saturday last weekend, and it was to celebrate the release of The Savior, which is book 17 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. And I'm sitting there, and I'm just like so like fangirling with everybody and wanting everything Black Dagger Brotherhood. So I went on eBay that night, looked up the hardbacks, and I found a listing for nine hardbacks for $100. And I was super wary. I was like, well, how are they having all of these? One of them included a really hard one to find for a hundred dollars for all nine and they had three sets of them and there were only there was only one left so they've sold two and I was like how do they have three sets of all of these including the one that normally goes for over a hundred dollars by itself the seller though had over 2,000 ratings 99.9% .9 positive reviews they literally only had like four negative reviews ever at the time they were on eBay so I was like okay I'll just suck it up and do it because I didn't own any of these hardbacks. If you see up here, I do own two in hardback. I just bought the Savior, which I'll haul in a second. And that's all that I had in hardback. And I really wanted to collect the series in hardback. I was going back and forth with it a while ago. Just finally decided I'm just going to do it. So I know it's impossible to get books one and two, but... I have Zeta's book in hardback. This book is number three in the series. This goes for over $100 by itself on Amazon and on eBay. And this listing had it included with the 10 books, nine books, sorry. And look how pretty it is. It has blue end pages. It's Lover Awakened. It's gorgeous. And it's like literally almost all these books felt like they'd never been opened. You know how like you get a brand new hardback, you open it like cracks and it like is kind of stiff to open? This does have a reminder mark. Those don't bother me at all. Like I get that book publishers have to do that. When I buy from book outlet, they always have the reminder mark. I don't care about that. So this one I am freaking out about. Books one and two individually go for like $200 or $300 each. So probably never gonna happen, but at least I can have all the books but the first two, I'll be fine. And honestly, I didn't really love book one anyways. So I'm not like too sad about it. But my favorite brother, I have them in hardback and I'm freaking out. So I think I have to buy like four more hardbacks and then I'll have the complete set except for the first two. So I'm excited. I'm just gonna show you all at once so I don't have to bother like showing you. I have the King, the Shadows, Lover Revealed, the Beast, Lover Avenge, Lover Mine, Lover Unleashed, and Lover Enshrined. So I am missing a few. I think I'm missing Vicious's book and a few others, but I have all these in hardback now. $100 for nine books of hardback books is a really good deal, especially because they're at like half price books, like $12 each. So I'm happy. So the next thing I really want to show you is my the bookish box stuff I got from the Defy Me box. I'm just gonna go through it real quick. I didn't do an unboxing. I just wanted to open it when I got it. So it came with a ring that I'm never gonna wear. It's in like the shape of an eye. It came with a Kenji candle which I think is really adorable. I love the artwork for it and I love Kenji. It does smell like chocolate chip cookies which I'm not a huge fan of like food scented like sweets candles. I don't know. Like, it just, I don't know. I wouldn't burn it all the time. Then I got a button, and I do have, well, like a pin. I do have a pin that already has this exact quote on it that I got in a different book box, but it says, Ignite My Love Ignite, but it's cute, so I'll definitely add it to my book pin collection. Then it came with a pillowcase that says, I spent my life folded between the pages of a book, and this is designed by Sweet Sequels, which is like one of my favorite book designers ever, so I really love her bookish art, so I'm happy to have this. It's like a burlappy kind of fabric, um, but I'm definitely gonna get a pillow so that I can put it inside of this and have it on my bed. It does match my color scheme in my room as well, so I'm happy with that. If you saw one of my other vlogs, I did get the Outlander winter special box from them and hated it. I hated the design of the shirt. I hated the lotion they included which I thought was a stupid idea to put in a book box but their shirt for Defy Me is gorgeous so I'm assuming that's supposed to be um 
Warner's head and it says it's the kind of kiss that inspires stars to climb into the sky and light up the world. I love that quote. It's so adorable and like the romance lover in me is obsessed and then I love how there's trees in his face and there's a bird and then it's all the birds are flying and there's stars coming out. It's gorgeous. I'm obsessed so I'm gonna wear this like a lot because I love it. I did buy the box with the signed copy in it and it came with its own book jacket so we have Juliet on the front and then we have Warner and Adam on the back which I freaking love. I love this picture so much and then we have Kenji on the inside and I don't know who this person is. I don't remember. Um, yeah. So it also does have the original book jacket underneath and it is a signed copy so I am very happy to have this to add to my collection. I have not read it yet but I will. The next book I was sent to review from Entangled Publishing and that is Nothing But Trouble by Amy Andrews. This came with an adorable stuffed pig. I don't know if you can see him. He's up there. You can kind of see the pink up there. I put him next to the horse that I got with Lex Martin's book that she gave to me and so this one is about actually a ex-NFL star and it's been five years that his assistant's been working for him and he has to go back to I think his dad's farm to help out and she comes too and it's their romance. It kind of reminds me of The Wall of Winnipeg and Me because it's like the assistant with the football player even though he's not really a football player anymore and they like butt heads a lot so I'm very excited and it looks like a super cute romance. Then my friend Brittany from Brit's Books, I will link her Instagram down below, she had posted in her stories that she had a bunch of books that she didn't want to read, that she was getting rid of, and she wanted to give to people. And so I asked for two of them. I decided to get Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa and then also The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chokshi? Chokshi. Chokshi. Okay, I'm not going to try saying that again. Um, these two, though, I particularly asked for because Kristen from Super Space Chick, I believe, loved both of these. And I know I see this in her videos. So I'm pretty sure it's, like, behind her, like, displayed in her videos. So I'm excited to have both of these. The next book I was sent to review was Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I believe this is a debut. I could be wrong, but this is a romance that takes place at a renaissance fair. Sounds really fun. I love the cover, so I can't wait to read this. The next book I was sent from Forever Romance, and I've already read it, and that is Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. I think it's Helena Hunting. And this one is actually not like the rom-com that the cover makes it out to be. It's about a lawyer, and she is working on a case for an ex-actor who she went to law school with. So, yeah. You'll see my thoughts about this in my wrap-up. Next, I bought myself Violent Delights by Jessica Hawkins. It was only like $12 or $13 as opposed to its original $15. So I bought it, and this is a mafia romance, and I think she is in a love triangle with two brothers. I haven't read it yet, but I really want to. I love Jessica Hawkins, so I can't wait to give this a chance. And then because I'm trashed for this series, I have another copy of Defy Me, and this is a Barnes & Noble edition, so it has extra content. And I wanted this because I knew my other copy coming in the book box would have a book jacket with it that was designed for it, so I wanted this to have on my shelves with that book with the original book jacket. So, I have it. And this one's not signed, so I have a signed copy and a not signed copy. So I'll read this one when I get around to it. Next, I won this in a giveaway, I think on Facebook, and that is Irresistible by Melanie Harlow. I don't really know anything about this, but it's a really cute cover. The next book I was sent to review from Berkeley, and I'm super excited, and that is I Want You Back by Lorelai James. This is a matte cover, which is like, feels so good. This is a romance about an ex-NHL player, so he played hockey with his ex and the mother of his child. So it's a second chance romance with a hockey player. I can't wait to read this. Next, I was sent unsolicited Lost Roses by Martha Hall Kelly. This is a World War I novel about three women who go from St. Petersburg to Paris. So, we'll see if I get to that. Then I got this book, which is The Better Sister by Alifair Burke. I was sent this for review, but I have no idea what it was. Uh, this, these two sisters were super close, and then they became estranged, and the one ended up marrying the other one's ex-husband and, like, taking care of his son, her son. I don't know. It, it just sounds, like, bizarre. But her husband goes missing, so this sounds interesting. Then I was sent a gorgeous finished copy of Fumbled by Alexa Martin. This one comes out in this month, at the end of this month, I believe, and this is a really fun second chance sports romance. I absolutely loved it. I gave it five out of five stars, so check it out when it comes out. Then as a surprise, I was sent uh, Inspection by Josh Mallerman. The only reason I know what this is about is Books and Lala. Kayla, she loves Josh Mallerman, so I am intrigued to read this. There's like a boys' school and a girls' school, and like something goes wrong, but they don't know. Like they've never seen the opposite gender before. I don't know. I think that's what this is about. 
So we'll see how it goes. Sorry if I'm tr going really fast, my battery's flashing at me, so I'm hoping it doesn't die before I finish. So the next one is my copy of The Savior by J.R. Ward. It is signed by her. It doesn't even look like her signature though. It's just like literal scribbles, but that's okay. It's so pretty and like this dagger is raised, which I love details like that. And this is just gorgeous and I'm obsessed. So I'm excited to have this and maybe catch up to it. Cause I'm on book 13 right now. This is 17, it'll happen. The last books I had to share with you, I was all sent by my friend Shelly. So Shelly, if you're watching, thank you so much. These are amazing. She sent me a list of books and I picked out what I wanted. These were all books she didn't want anymore. So I will go through them and I'm not going to tell you what they're about. I just am going to tell you the titles. So the first one is Perversion by T.M. Frazier. I've already read this. I really, really loved it. It's a mafia romance. So yeah, it's really good. She sent me Unconscious Hearts by Harper Sloan. I know that I looked up the synopsis of all these before picking them, so I know I'm interested in them, but I don't know what this is about. But I, it looks good. Then I picked out Look the Parts by Jewel E. Ann. I've heard really good things about this author, though I've never read her myself, I don't think, but it looks good. Then she sent me Crank by Adriana Locke. This one is book one in the series. I really enjoyed it. I did read it as an ebook, and I have, I think, book three as well, so I want to collect the series. Then she did send me I Dare You by Isla Mad Mills, which I know is a Ilsa Mad Mills? Isla, Ilsa. I never know, because Isla spelled I-S-L-A, right? And this is I-L-S-A. Trying to find my Isla book uh, on my shelves. I don't see it. I don't know, but uh, this is football romance and I'm excited to have it. I own the other one in this series too, so glad to add this to my collection. Then she sent me Strung by Victoria Ashley. I really like it. Victoria Ashley. I got to meet her, so I had to add this. It's a musician romance. Then I got Half Sack by Tia Finn, I think. I don't know if it's Thea, but I'm pretty sure it's Tia. Yeah, football romance, that's all I know, but I'm ha happy to have this. I'm pretty sure these are all from book boxes too, so they are all signed by the author, which is really cool. I also got Dirty Exes by Rachel Van Dyken. I got to meet Rachel at a polycon and it was super fun. She's awesome, so I am excited to have another one of her books. Then she sent me Living Out Loud by Stacey Hart. I love Stacey Hart's covers, so I could not pass up the chance to have one of her books on my shelf. And those are all the books that Shelly sent me, so thank you again. You are the best. I have the best friends I've made from Instagram and BookTube, and I just could not be happier with how generous people are. But that's all I have. Like I said, I didn't really buy too much. I had a really great past, like, three weeks of books, so I need to stop getting more books because these, this is a lot. Though I do have another one waiting at my parents' house right now, so... That's, that's another story. But that's all I have. Let me know down below what you're excited for me to read or what you've read and really enjoyed. I would love to hear. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.